It's mid-spring in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and all the plants are coming back alive again. Pine pollen is one of my favorite nutritional supplements in the forest. These pollen cones contain tons of vitamins, nutrients, minerals, and even androgens like testosterone. It can be difficult to time the harvest just right because there is a very small window in which the pollen is released. Dryad Saddle is a common, edible spring mushroom that tastes a lot like watermelon. You definitely want to find the younger specimens of this mushroom because when they get older they get tough and chewy. I've also been finding a lot of young reishi nodes growing on old hemlock trees. Later in the season I'll come back and harvest some of these. After hanging out in the valley for a little bit, I started to head further up the mountain. I found some pieces of chaga in the highlands that were too young to harvest. Maybe I'll come back in 15 years and take a piece out of them. Coming down from the mountain near this creek bed, I struck gold. I found my first morels of the season. This one was nearly in perfect condition, and a pretty good size too. There were two other morels nearby, but they didn't look quite as healthy. I harvested this one, but I didn't end up eating it because it smelled kind of weird. Further along in the valley, I found another surprise. I stumbled upon a medium-sized patch of ramps. In the spring, I like to harvest one leaf from each ramp plant. This makes the harvest non-lethal. If I want some of the bulbs, I can always come back later in the late summer. For every one ramp leaf I harvest, I aim to plant two ramp seeds later in the season. That way, I'm expanding and not reducing the current ramp population. Each ramp plant produces around 9 to 20 seeds in the late summer. This makes increasing the ramp population fairly practical if you just go back and revisit the same areas later in the season. Occasionally, I'll harvest a few ramp bulbs in the springtime. When I do, I want to make sure that the crown stays in, so that means the roots in the very end of the bulb stays in the ground so there's a chance to reproduce again. My original foraging basket broke earlier this month, so I had to make a new tulip poplar bark basket as a substitute. Today I'm going to be cooking a uh, pizza with the ramp leaves I collected earlier. I'm also going to use barbecue sauce instead of a regular um, pizza sauce. Uh, I meant to cook, top this off with the morels I collected earlier, except that I ate them as soon as I got home. <laughs> this spring has been really dry, at least here in western North Carolina. So finding like a great deal of morels is kind of difficult. But hopefully, um, there's supposed to be a rain maybe tomorrow, so maybe I'll find some the following day. My birthday was uh, last week, April 16th, and I'm thinking of starting a new tradition 
of cooking a ramp pizza on my birthday every year instead of cake because I never really liked cake anyway it's just like too fluffy and yeah I just prefer like to eat actual meal than have dessert So I finished making the barbecue ramp pizza. One bite, everyone knows the rules. It's pretty good. It's not the best pizza I've ever made, but um, the crust is kind of boring, but it was only 99 cents, although the quality is a lot less. Um, Barbecue sauce is pretty tangy. Add some extra flavor in there, and of course the ramps are great. Then we have the underdog, which is um, radishes. And radishes are, I think, a very underrated vegetable. And very good on pizza. You don't see it on pizza a lot, but it's delicious. I think some turkeys are coming after me. <laughs> the turkeys smell my food and they're like circling me.
<clears throat> I guess turkey is like pizza. That's weird. You would think a bear would come after me, not turkeys. <laughs> They're washing me. I see you. I think I overcooked some of the pizza. <laughs> the crust is a little dark. <clears throat> it's because there was still a fire on the outside of my pan, like underneath and outside. So the outer layer is a little bit more crisp than the rest of the pizza.